Good afternoon. How are you? So yeah, I did a thing. I did a new intro. I had an idea for that intro uh, a couple of days ago, but just never got around to it. But I thought I'd put it together. So hope you guys like it. Uh, so that was then and this is now. Uh, BBJ's life has improved a lot. And much thanks to French Fried Girl and her family for making that happen. I just, I'm so over the moon about that. The fact that BBJ got her second chance that she deserves. So, foodie beauty is still raging. She's so incredibly bothered by the fact that French fry girl has BBJ and there's nothing she can do about it. Absolutely nothing she can do except rage. And that's precisely what she's done by going on to her community post. She did a live stream today saying, this is gonna be my last live stream for a while. Although I seriously doubt she's gonna stay offline for long because she's promised before to be offline for a while and yet she doesn't do it. She'll be gone for 48 hours and then come right back. And why is that? Well, because she needs attention. So she's got to get her attention fixed by going on YouTube. But in the meantime, she's using her community post to rage about French Fry Girl and to basically defend herself as being a good cat owner. And I wanted to react to this post and little warning, she wrote a book. <laughs> she practically wrote a book. I mean, you can always tell the level of rage with Foodie by how long the community post is. And the longer it is, the madder she is. So let me just go ahead and share the screen so you guys can see everything. Okay, so there is the post. I told you, I, look, <laughs> look at this thing. Look, Foodie is not a writer. She only becomes one when she's mad. So, she did this long post defending herself. And here, here, look what we got here. We got some pictures of BBJ. Now, before we get into the post, when I saw this post, I noticed something right off. Do you guys notice it too? Tell me what you notice. Do you notice that all of the pictures are very, very old of BBJ? They look extremely old. It looks like the pictures are taken with a not high def definition, definition camera. I'm thinking like maybe early 90s, maybe the 80s kind of camera. The pictures look rather fuzzy, but they're all little pictures. These are not pictures that are taken in the villa. These were pictures of BBJ taken years ago. And I'm not quite sure who is holding on to BBJ in this one picture. It looks like Pete's. And if that is Pete, he looks really young in the picture. So these pictures are extremely old, Chantal. Why didn't you put up any recent pictures taking care of BBJ? Oh, that's right, because you haven't cared for her in quite a while. And the villa was disgusting. There was garbage everywhere. Everywhere. Some of the pictures that I put in my intro, those are more recent pictures of what the villa looked like. The garbage everywhere, the filth everywhere, the fruit flies, 
that is how you lived. But even worse, that's how your cats lived. Day in, day out, night in, night out, not being able to leave, not being able to escape. You made them live in that filth. You always had the option of escaping that filth anytime you wanted, but they never had that freedom. Pets don't have a choice. They live how we live. And the way you chose to live was an absolute squalor and filth. But yeah, check out these pictures, y'all. Old pictures of BBJ. Old pictures. That's the best you can do. Coming up with really old pictures to put on a community post. Notice there's nothing recent. So let's go on to the actual post. <laughs> she says, I will summarize my feelings on this entire cat rehoming debacle. And then I'm closing this chapter of my life and will not allow others to shame me for my decisions. No matter what I choose to do, rehoming them or euthanizing BBJ, if the vet saw fit, I was villainized for. Regardless of your feelings on my marriage, etc., truth is, Sala and I are deeply in love and want to plan a life together. Did I foresee this happening back in 2004 when I got BBJ? No. Things happen in our lives and all I ever tried to do was find the best solution for them. I posted these pics below. I'm scratched out for modesty purposes, of course, to show that even back in 2005, Pete was playfully annoying BBJ. So cut the crap of him calling an animal blanker. <laughs> you know what, Chantal? It's too late. It's way too late. Little too late. You're a little too late to the table with this. You're a monster. You are an abusive monster, ma'am. And you probably always will be in some form or fashion. If not being cruel to animals, being cruel to people. You got a problem with that. You have no sense of humanity or empathy. You're just a nasty, mean, rotten person, period. You always have been, even when you were younger. You were trying to act like you were seriously considering rehoming over euthanization. No, it's the other way around. Euthanization was the first place your mind went when it came to BBJ. And we all know why. We know why. It's because you know the neglect that she suffered. You knew how bad of shape she was in, and you didn't want the rest of the world to know. You painted this portrait of yourself of being a caring pet parent, and you wanted everybody to believe that. Although in many of your live streams, we saw so much evidence of the fact that you were not a caring pet parent. Still, you wanted your Beezers to believe it. Anybody who watched your live streams day after day could pick up on the many things that were wrong, the many signs that you were not a good pet parent, from the filthy environment that you provided for your cats to the lack of care, the lack of attention, the lack of food, pushing your cats away not spending time around them, throwing treats instead of actually feeding them. I mean, the signs were all there. They were all there. And I'll say one more time for you, foodie. It's not the rehoming that's the problem. It's the neglect, the absolute neglect. If you had taken care of BBJ and Sam and then rehomed them, nobody would have a problem with that. No one. It's the neglect that happened before that, the needless neglect. You're a big mouth. And you told people repeatedly about how much money you made. You bragged about it. Oh, I make so much money on YouTube. Well, if you make so much money, why are your pets not being taken care of? Once you open your mouth and you tell people, I don't have a regular job. 
I can do what I want whenever I want. I can make my own schedule and I'm making tons of money. What reason or excuse can you come up with that will make you look like a good person? You can't. You absolutely can't. And as far as you finding the best solution for them, no. It was about finding the best solution for you. Finding the easiest path to get rid of your pets. And thank goodness you were so hyper fixated on being with Sala that you did not do your homework. And because of that, BBJ has a second chance. And so does Sam. All you could think about was getting back to Kuwait and to Sala. So you weren't doing any kind of research about who was taking the pets. You just wanted them away from you. You looked at them as burdens, as things that were keeping you away from Sala. Well, you can go to Sala now. Nothing stopping you. That which is innocent and good is no longer going to suffer from your cruel neglect. And as far as Pete's playfully annoying BBJ, he's sadistic like you. Yeah, I said it. He's a sadist. He's got anger issues for you, but he's a coward. Instead of going to you and addressing the issues with you, he'll take out his anger on BBJ because BBJ can't fight back. Well, he can't do it anymore. He's going to have to find something else to vent his anger. But he'd be angry with you and vent his frustration on poor BBJ because she can't fight back. BBJ's nails growing long also isn't abuse. No, you're right, Chantal. BBJ's nails growing long is not abuse, but letting them grow into her foot pads and letting them be that way to the point where the cat is having trouble walking, that is abusive. That is cruel. Uh, Sam's were fine. It's because she is elderly and I was bringing her to the vet, but Goblin shot that down because she needed to use BBJ for views by exploiting her situation. You know what, Chantal? Frenchie offered you $3,000. And she offered to sign an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement. So if her main motivation was to get the cat for views and for money, why would she offer to sign a non-disclosure agreement with you? She just wanted the cat to make sure the cat was safe. She approached you privately and said, sell me the cat. I'll sign an NDA. You turned her down just because of who she was, just because she was a reactor and you didn't like her. But that was the first offer on the table. She would sign an NDA. No one would ever know. And she wouldn't be able to tell us. And here we are. She got little BBJ anyway. She didn't have to sign an NDA, so she's free to tell us anything she wants. You did a video showing yourself giving her away freely. It's a done deal. You don't have a case. And as far as using BBJ for views, Frenchie's doing just fine on her channel and she's making enough money. She's not like you, that she has to rely on pets to make money. You're the one over there. You, you will exploit anything and everyone to make money. Harry the hamster is a good example. Imagine being so desperate for money and attention. They will even go so far as to buy a hamster in another country just to get a few more views, just to get a little bit more attention. No, that's something you would do, not Frenchie. So I was told not to bring her. Right. You want to know why? You want to know why? Frenchie and her family did not want you taking BBJ to the vet to have her nails done because they knew there was a high probability that you might have her put down because that's all you talked about. 
You talked about putting her down. I wouldn't trust you either. They were just wanting to get her in their care rather than try to play Russian roulette with, with you, not knowing, are you going to take her to the vet for her nails or something else? Uh, those nails were sadly goblins fodder and entertainment and views for a day. And mark my word, she will milk it for all it's worth. Chantal, if you had taken care of BBJ, there would never have been nails growing into her foot pads. And after I found out that all it would have taken was between $15 and $20 to have that baby's nails trimmed, how dare you? You make sure to run to Starbucks every day and spend 10 to 20 bucks on drinks. But you won't spend 10 to $20 a month for a nail trim. Please have a seat. Animal welfare came twice to check the cats and they were fine. If they were being abused, they would have taken them immediately. Animal welfare can only do so much. They are not vets. They look at a few things and if everything looks okay, that's all they can do. They're not doctors. So you can't say because animal welfare came there and didn't take them in that they were completely fine. And animal welfare cannot do medical tests. They just walk in, look at the environment, see that there's food and water. If everything looks okay, then there's really nothing they can do. And as I recall, the last time when they were there, they told Pete to clean the place up. That's how nasty it was. If they were being abused, they would have taken them in immediately. I also posted these pics to demonstrate that I have always loved and taken care of my pets. And no loudmouthed person with a fake boyfriend will ever take that away from me. You can all think what you want. My true supporters know my character and still support my content. So luckily, I don't need you hateful, toxic, girl world weirdos. Without talking about me, though, Goblin gets nothing. Love that for it. As for Goblin, again, I will only be going after her in private. I will close this chapter and leave all hate and negativity in this villa and move on. <laughs> Chantal, the villa was fine before you arrived. The only negativity in the villa is you. And after you leave, there will be no negativity. Once you and Pete leave the villa, the negativity will leave with you. <laughs> you brought it in. You're taking it out. <laughs> I will never understand how I was being called a vile person for bringing BBJ to the vet to get her nails trimmed and to see if humane euthanasia was the best option. And I have to say, in my opinion, it is better than being with that foul, smoky witch's family. Oh, really? Chantal, with you, as far as BBJ, there was never the option of life and living. You had your mind set on something, on a final solution. Because that was the easiest path for you. Putting her down was easier and faster than finding her a good home. That's too many steps for you. You'd rather put her down that way. All of the dirty secrets of your neglect will be buried with her. And it saves you the headache of having to find a good home. You know, you're in a hurry to get to Kuwait. So in your mind, get things done as quickly as possible, as easily as possible. And so your evil mind just fixated on that. Let's see. It is better than being with that foul, smoky witch's family. Oh, really? You know, I know that BBJ, she just had a procedure done on her feet to take out the embedded nails. I'm sure that was painful. And she's got a full exam next week. But Frenchie's already talking about getting little BBJ a catio. 
so that she can have like a little patio time and lay out in the sun and sleep and play. So I seriously doubt that if BBJ could talk, that she would agree with you, Chantal. I think she would argue with you and say, that's not true. I want to live. I'm sure she'd say to you, you did everything in the world to hurt me. You neglected me. You didn't love me. You denied me food. You denied me care. And I'm still here because I wanted to live. It wasn't my time. I'm a survivor and you can't take that away from me. Uh, I mean, she and her audience are not too bright to claim to be saving BBJ, a 21-year-old cat whom I didn't even put down when Goblin put down her two dogs. What Frenchie did with her dogs was necessary. You just wanting to euthanize BBJ just because you looked at her as a burden because you felt like she was in your way between you being in Ottawa and you being in Kuwait, different story. What Frenchie did, it was, it, it had to be done. It wasn't something because she wanted to do it, it's because she had to do it. You cannot make that same claim, Chantal. You cannot make that same claim. You were ready to put her down. No matter what the vet said, that's exactly what she wanted. Because you want to get to Kuwait that much faster for Sala. And because you wanted your neglect to be kept in secret. Well, guess what? It's not. It's not. And you can't get mad at French Fry Girl. You can't get mad at her. You got to get mad at yourself. Because again, if you had taken care of your cats, there would be no neglect. There'd be nothing to expose. Nothing at all. All this anger that you're showing us, this writing this mini novel in your community post, you know what it really is? It's anger, but it's also fear. You're afraid. You're scared of what the vet is gonna say next week. And you being a narcissist, and narcissists are all about control. When they lose control, that's when they really snap. And that's what's going on with you. You've lost control of the plot. You can't use filters or camera angles or lies to cover anything up. The lies are being exposed. The truth is coming out. And more truth is going to come out. You're not angry because you love BBJ and you want her back and you miss her. No, it's about you being angry because people can see what a monster you are. A neglectful, cruel monster. And it goes against the image that you've been trying to paint with your beezers. At the end of the day, it's all about your bottom line. You're angry about the exposure because you're worried about how it's going to affect your money. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Just more false outrage and weird ways for her to insert her frizzy ponytail into my life. The blanket BBJ was on was clearly had cigarette burns on, on it. All of you are praising a vile action of a cat theft through deception and claiming BBJ is safe when no one knows for sure. That was a risk I took in rehoming her. And I have to live with that, but still, I am grateful for the changes coming to my life. I invite you all, Beezers, along with me. Let's travel the world and be happy. Let's bees and let these horrible, miserable weirdos in the dust. Sorry I let you down, BBJ, and you have to be affiliated with liars, criminals, chain smokers, and vile stalkers for the rest of your life. Funny how you outlive Timbit in the pics below, but I was such a bad owner to keep you happy for 20 years. You know, the, the, the picture that she's talking about, 
on the couch. BBJ, I guess, was sitting on kind of a like a wool or fur blanket. Chantal, your couch. It was covered in garbage. There was nowhere for the cat to sit. <laughs> How can you sit there and put down somebody else's couch when your own couch at the villa was coated in garbage and filth? And there was cat poop on the floor because the poor kitties couldn't go in the litter box as it was dirty. I'm sorry, BBJ, that I let you down. Oh, you did worse than that. You didn't just let her down. You neglected her. You neglected her. You neglected Sam. You were horrible. You should never be allowed to own a pet ever again, period. I don't care how small, no more pets. Nothing should depend on you for its survival. And you know what? I'm waiting for next week. I'm waiting to hear what's going to happen next week. I know you're waiting too, Chantal. I know you're wondering how it's going to affect your channel and your Beezers. And for anybody on Chantal's side of the fence, any VIBs, Beezers, viewers that are just loyal to Chantal, understand that you are supporting someone who is abusive to animals, who is neglectful to animals. Not only that, but she's also abusive with people. And she doesn't care about any of you. You just dollar bills to her. And here's something else. Chantal is so evil. She sucks the life out of any living thing that comes near her whether it's a man or a pet. Nothing living was ever made good by getting close to her or knowing her. There's not one person that Chantal has known that can say that they were made better by knowing her. Every man she's ever been with, you can look at pictures of them. They all had that checked out look in their eyes. And look at her pets, neglected. He's a ball of negative energy and negative attracts negative and negative can be really, really draining. So you know what, foodie, you can sit there and rage all you want in your community post about French fry girl, but I'm happy because Sam is safe. BBJ is safe. You're never going to get either one of those cats back again, nor should you. And BBJ, unlike you, is going to be living her best, happy, healthy life. She's going to be living well. And I can't wait to see all the great updates that I know are going to be coming. Because each and every one is going to make me smile. So that's it for the community post, y'all. Hope everybody has a great day. And please take care.